All right, so I'm down here in my workshop, and if you've watched any of my videos, you probably figured out by now that I don't like to spend money if I don't have to. That's part of debt-free living, right? So, uh, I was wanting some more light, because as you can tell, lighting kind of stinks down here, especially when I'm trying to record and whatnot. This is my workbench right now in my basement. And everything's a work in progress. So, I was looking at uh, the LED tubes and fixtures online, and they're ridiculously expensive for the fixtures. And then you gotta go buy the tubes, which are also kind of expensive. So I found uh, a set of four tubes with the tombstones. They came with four tombstones. And I found them for about the price of one fixture. So I thought, why don't I just make my own fixture and hook up the lights? Because uh, everywhere they tell you on these bulbs is you got to get rid of the ballast in the old fixture anyway. Um, because these are replacement tubes for the fluorescent uh, T8s and they have an electronic ballast and so what you end up doing is you just run power to one side of the tombstones and that's what I've done here. I've just made a simple fixture and I think it's going to work pretty good. It's pretty bright. Let's see how it lights up the workbench versus what I got now. Nice natural color, nice light. So, I'm going to show you how I made uh, this out of just scrap stuff I had laying around. And we'll get to it. As you can tell, I've got the first light installed, so i got some light to work with. And what I did was, I got a piece of scrap plywood. And I cut it to four and a quarter by 49 and a half. That seemed to be about the right size for what I was doing. So I have this other little block here, which turned out to be the same four and a quarter and about two and three eighths tall. And so that's going to be one piece. And then, of course, the tombstones will be over here. So, what I did, as you can tell on this tombstone, the center of the bowl will be right here where it clips in to that copper groove. So, knowing that, I can put this at the bottom of my block and mark the height my circle, the center of the circle needs to be. And I can do that on both sides. Then I just brought them in one inch from the outside, which is this mark. One inch from the outside. And so across marks the spot. Get my sacrificial boards here. So we got two holes in a piece of block. That's very good. So 
there's that end. Now on this end, we have the terminals, or the tombstones. Let me get one of my bulbs. So the trick is, you want these in a position to where you can easily slide the tube in and out. As you can see, it has a step here on the tube ends, so it stops from that. But if yours doesn't for some reason, you could put a block on the back here and make sure that those hit your block so it can't go any further. And the reason for that is when the tombstone is in place, if it can just slide all the way out of your block, then it'll just it's not going to be very secure. So, that being said, we're going to want to position our tombstone right there. We're going to want to position our other one right here. These have a groove right there. I'm just going to utilize that. Put this in part way. The same thing with this one. Okay, now for the wiring. All right, so next you're gonna need a cord end uh, off of anything, a broken tool, whatever. This came off of a computer. This has a ground, we won't need it, but it's what I have. So we're gonna use it. So we're just gonna chop off this end. Going to cut the insulation back. And that ground isn't much of anything anyway. Just going to go ahead and snip it all the way off. I'm going to pull all the ends off of here. and blacks. Now here is where if you wanted an inline pull chain switch to mount, um, you could put one in. You would just put one lead here and the other lead here and the switch would be in the middle. And uh, But I'm going to have mine on a light switch, uh, a switched receptacle, so I'm just going to wire mine direct. Here again, you can use whatever you want, but I happen to have some cable clamps, this style, for like coax cable. What I'm going to do is get this directed right towards the center and out the back, which will leave our connection center here. Let's 
way if the cord gets pulled on, nothing happens. Aim that right out the center. There we go. Let's put our bulbs in. Plug it in. There you have it. A cheap fixture for your LED T8 style tubes. Have fun with that. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. I hope this idea saves you some money. Be sure and click like. You should also head on over to my channel and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below. Thanks again.